Hello my dear friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Barbara and today we're going to be looking at the Gemini moon. So very excited to be getting into this particular placement. This video is for you if you do have your moon sign and the sign of Gemini. If you're a cross watcher, welcome as well. So the moon sign in our natal chart is all about our emotional world, how we are truly deep down inside, behind closed doors, whether we express it to the world or not. Usually people who are closest to you are going to see these aspects of you because of the fact that the moon deals with the fourth house. It's all about things that are at home, right? How you act when you're at home, behind closed doors, when you're in your own, in your own solitude. So this is really what the moon sign is about. It also deals with the mother and sometimes it gives us insight as to what past lives you may have had. So for you guys, Gemini and the moon sign, you guys are all about communication, speech, intellect, okay? So for you guys, because the moon deals with the emotional world, it's in the sign of Gemini, which is an air sign. For you guys, the emotional world is intellectual. You guys need to intellectualize things. Things need to make sense to you on an intellectual level. Even your emotions, you guys might find yourselves dissecting them a lot of the time. You guys aren't going to be really like water signs where it's like the water signs look for depth and they're really looking for those deep, meaningful connections. You guys want to connect on an intellectual level. So as long as someone can stimulate you intellectually or have something to say, something to teach you, some sort of interesting information, you guys are going to be interested in those people. Now, the shadow aspects of Gemini, and a lot of people talk about this, is Gemini is very non-committal. So you'll notice a lot of the time Gemini is going on to the next thing, on to the next thing, on to the next thing. This is because of the fact that for you guys, it's very much like the third house is very childlike in this way. You guys are almost innocent and pure in that way where it's like, it's a little kid learning something new, wants to learn the next thing, wants to learn this, wants to do that. So a lot of the time what might happen is not only are you non-committal, but it's also like you're probably going to have a lot of unfinished projects as well. You're probably not going to even, it's not even like it's on purpose. It's just like you guys forget, honestly. So the Gemini energy a lot of the time is very much like you're watching something, you know, you're watching a TV show, you want to find out about the character on the TV show, you guys end up going down this rabbit hole, learning the most random thing, okay? Learning the most random thing that has nothing to do with anything, completely forgot that you were even watching a TV show. That's the Gemini energy and that's kind of how you guys get by through life. I find a lot of the time, like a lot of these placements, especially like the big three, the energy does tend to calm down a little bit by the time you get to your Saturn return and you guys aren't maybe going to be as scattered because what happens is we're really meant to learn from our opposition, okay? So for you guys, you guys are meant to learn from Sagittarius. So for you guys, it's kind of like if you guys are able to pick one thing that you guys want to do, you guys are going to be very successful at it because of that Sagittarian fiery energy. It's just like you guys have to be hyper focused and laser focused on that thing not allow yourselves to get distracted. So there's different ways you guys can go about doing it. This is why it's good to know astrology because then we're able to balance the energies that we have within us. So something that could be helpful could be like setting deadlines for yourselves, right? So you guys actually know that you're going to finish that thing by the time you said you're going to finish it. Maybe having people who are going to hold you accountable, people who are going to ask you, are you done? Are you done? Are you done? Right? To make sure you actually complete that project. Because the Gemini energy is very beautiful, highly intellectual. You guys have so many ideas but a lot of these ideas don't actually get materialized for this reason because you guys are very scattered, okay? You guys are gonna be doing this and then doing this and doing this and this is gonna kind of happen in a lot of your relationships as well. So the Gemini moon does tend to, again, you guys aren't so much about the deep emotions, it's more so the intellectual emotions. So you're gonna have a lot of different friend groups, okay? You're gonna be friends with a lot of different people from a lot of different walks of life. Your friends, your closest friends are probably gonna be like, how do you know that person? What do you have in common with them? And it's like, they had something to teach you. This is the thing with the Gemini energy, it's like, you guys are very likable and very much non-judgmental. So for this reason, people are attracted to your energy, but also you guys are chatty and talkative. So you guys make people feel comfortable when you guys are in your element, that is, right? Because sometimes the Gemini can go into the shadow where you're not expressing yourself. That's the thing. It's like, you guys have to learn to express yourselves, okay? In one way, shape, or form. If you guys don't feel confident to say things verbally, then write them out, right? That's why Gemini deals with the written or the spoken word. So this is why you guys are gonna get along with so many people, so many different walks of life. You guys are gonna connect people to each other. Okay, that's really Gemini energy. It's like, you have one friend who needs something, the Gemini person knows this other person, right? You connect those people together and everyone's gonna be like, how do you know that person? It's like Gemini just becomes friends with everybody. Everywhere that you guys go, you're gonna be friendly, you're gonna make connections. Gemini energy, especially in the moon, 
you know, a lot of your opportunities in life are probably going to come through connections, actually. It's going to come through you speaking or communicating with people, saying things like, oh, hey, I need this job. The person's going to say, oh, oh my gosh, my friend is looking for this type of person. You're going to end up, you know, finding that job through that person. So you guys would be really good in things like networking events or, you know, anything to do with group settings where you meet people and you get to connect with people because it's the charm, right? The Gemini energy is very charming. You guys are very funny also because you're intellectual, right? So it's also with like witty banter. You you guys are very smart okay you guys are able to again just charm people around you you're very likable it's a very likable energy the gemini energy and like i said you guys need to communicate so sometimes you guys could fall into the shadow of oversharing because gemini does have that naive quality to them it's like they're so pure in a way sometimes where it's like they're almost innocent and they think that everybody's their friend and it's like the world that we live in, not everybody's going to be your friend, right? So the Gemini person might overshare something of theirs. And there could be a person, let's say a snake in the group of friends who goes off and gets that thing that maybe Gemini wanted to get. Maybe it's a job or opportunity or whatever, right? So that's the thing with the Gemini energy. It's like you guys are all about information, sometimes oversharing information. You're going to know things. You're going to you're going to know facts. You're going to know random. Like you're just going to be interested in so many different things. Okay, that's the thing with the Gemini energy. Jack of all trades, master of none. It's really important for you guys to find one thing to stick to and be like, this is the thing that I'm interested in and I'm going to see it through till the end. Okay. It might be really challenging for you guys, but you guys are going to be rewarded because in the earth plane that we're living in, it's really all about repetition and practice makes perfect. And the Gemini energy does not flow well with that because Gemini like, again, wants to learn as many things as they can, right? They're gathering information. They're kind of like a sponge. So for you guys, if you guys do come into that thing and you're like, okay, let's see this thing through till the end. Like I mentioned earlier, you guys will probably be very successful at it. Gemini energy, you guys could be interested in Gemini moon, rather, you guys could be interested in jobs like communications, uh, PR, marketing, social media, social media manager, again, anything to do with connecting people, but especially short things. Okay, I'm gonna be surprised if you guys actually finish this video, right? Because you guys are about like things that grasp your attention quickly. That's why you guys are good at like one liners, you guys could be good at like creating logos for companies or like um, slogans rather, okay, you guys could be really good at those things, anything that grasps people's attention quickly highly intellectual, all about the higher mind. Um, but again, it's like, you guys are ruled by Mercury. So it's like, yes, it is about the higher mind, but it's also about like the day to day, right? So it's like, you guys can go to a place and there's going to be a random person there. And that person's going to be telling you like the history of that land or whatever, or like something that could have taken place in that particular place that you're at. So it's like all of these things, you guys are always gathering information. You guys are very interested in just knowing things. Okay. You guys could be interested in like Twitter pages that are about random facts. Okay. Psychology facts, one liners. That's what's going to keep your attention. Okay. And again, in turn, you guys are going to be very good at putting out one liners. So Twitter could be a very like good social media platform for you guys. For example, I'm just using that as an example because it's short. It's to the point. You guys are going to be able to, again, gather your thoughts and put them into one sentence. Um, sometimes for the shadow of Gemini, some of you could speak in riddles. Okay. So it's like, there could be like double speak going on where it's like, you guys don't fully express yourselves again, because it is about the emotional world. So you guys might not fully express the emotions, but again, it's going to be through words. Sometimes it's going to be through poetry. Sometimes it's going to be through, again, maybe one-liners on like some sort of social media platform. That's really the Gemini energy. It's really what that is, okay? So if you guys struggle to express your emotions, because again, you guys are going to spend time trying to understand them, right? You're not going to be like sitting there and be like, this is how this makes me feel. You're, you're more so like, why does this make me feel like this? But not even that much in depth, okay? Gemini doesn't really like, to you guys, it's boring, okay? You guys just want to be intellectually stimulated. You want things to be light. You want things to be lighthearted. Doesn't necessarily mean that the Gemini moon can't be deep. Depends on the rest of your charts. But overall, it's about intellectual stimulation. Some people might find you guys to be inconsistent, okay? So there could be an inconsistency, inconsistency in your energy that could take place also with the Gemini energy where it's like, again, you're scattered. You're doing this, you, you could overcommit, okay? And things where it's like, you say to this friend, you're gonna be there, you say to that friend, and then you end up flopping on this friend or being flaky or whatever, right? So you guys could get this uh, rap as well where people see you guys as flaky. Another thing that's coming through to mention with the Gemini energy is it also deals with siblings. So the third house is Gemini, is ruled by Mercury, and it deals with siblings as well. So for you guys growing up, because the moon is the fourth house, it's the house of the home, there could have been competition between siblings. There could have been something to do with siblings. So maybe you guys had to take care of your siblings. Uh, maybe there was like a separation that your parents put between the siblings, sibling rivalry, anything of the sort. It could have been something that you guys have grown up in, which actually perfectly leads me into the mother. So with the Gemini child, Gemini moon, 
you guys basically expect to have a mother. So what happens is every single soul has a particular mother that they expect to have when they incarnate, okay? So for you guys, you guys basically expect to have a mother where the mother is going to be expressive, okay? Communicate with you guys. Understand that you guys also are communicators, right? This is what tends to happen with the Gemini moon because what happens sometimes is you get the exact opposite of that, okay? Also, sometimes what could happen is you guys could have a connection with the mother as well, okay? The Gemini moon where it's like you guys don't even need to speak. It's kind of like the mother just understands you, right? So there could even be that type of dynamic going on with the Gemini moon, but... You guys could have an, a mother that was not expressive, especially in terms of expressing her emotions. So in turn, throughout your life, you guys could struggle with, again, expressing your emotions, expressing how you feel, actually like really, really saying what it is that you guys feel. That's something that you guys really have to work through throughout your life is getting in tune with the emotions in that way where it's like you're not pushing them to the side because it's not interesting or it's boring. It's like actually being able to express what you truly feel or think because what happens with the Gemini energy, as I mentioned, you guys could overcommit. Right, so that's why to some people you guys might come off inconsistent or flaky or non-committal and all these sorts of things and a lot of the time what happens is it's because you guys have not communicated okay so you guys really really have to learn how to speak how to express yourselves it's interesting because it's like on a soul level this is like part of the purpose and part of this this deep desire you guys have right because like the moon sign is all about the emotional world so you guys have this deep desire to be heard to express yourselves but you guys at the same time have a challenge with that because that's where there's the most amount of growth and a lot of that is connected with the mother okay because you probably had a mother that was not expressive when you guys were growing up i mean this might not resonate with everybody but that, that's usually what tends to happen with the gemini moon so you guys have to learn to express the emotions that's one of the main thing because it's like all these other things are great learning doing this doing this project having all these friends but it's almost like the gemini moon kind of does these things as like a band-aid to not actually fully express their emotions okay so that's a huge thing for you guys you guys really really have to learn to express your emotions i think it's going to save a lot of gemini moons from a lot of trouble okay and especially in dynamics and relationships where it's like let's say you're dating someone you might not say how you truly feel maybe you find somebody else okay that does tend to be a gemini moon tendency right and it's like you guys could get into a lot of like friction with people for not expressing your actual emotions and maybe again it could come down to the thing where it's like you guys aren't even aware of what you're feeling because everything is mental and intellectual for you guys okay so really really important to understand for the gemini moon a lot of the time gemini energy is mutable so again it's why you guys are friendly you're likable okay you're gonna have a lot of people that like you you're gonna have friends that like you everywhere you guys go okay and you guys tend to be funny gemini moons tend to be very funny as well because you guys are witty okay, you guys know exactly the thing to say that's gonna be funny gonna make everybody laugh okay when you guys were growing up maybe the class clown could have been something that you guys did you guys just said the right thing at the right time everybody starts laughing very much Gemini energy but again it comes from the intellect okay it really really comes from the intellect so these are some things that you guys have to work on some past lives you guys could have had could have been something like a communicator a messenger you know someone I'm actually seeing someone who works at like the post office like back in the day anything to do with like uh transmitting uh messages okay so from this person you're saying this another thing that's coming through dimension is important not to fall into gossip that could be a huge shadow of the Gemini moon where it's like, because you guys are mutable and you guys get along with everybody, you're going to see this person's side and you're going to see this person's side. And sometimes you could be friends with both, with both people. So you can actually sit, take what this person said and go and tell this other person what they said. And you guys can actually get stuck in the middle of dramas or sometimes in the middle of situations where it's like both people want you to be like, well, why aren't you taking my side? And you guys are going to kind of be like, well, I see both sides because it's like Gemini are the twins. Okay. Sometimes the people you guys can come off as two faced but this is because of the fact that you're mutable once again, okay? So you're mutable, so it's like you're able to see this person's side and you guys mold. So that's another thing with the Gemini moon as well. It's like you guys struggle with the identity sometimes and like who you truly are as a person deep down inside. And because the Gemini energy in general, but specifically in the Gemini moon, you guys have this deep desire to be liked, to be accepted by people, you guys are gonna mold to your circumstances. This is why also a lot of the time Gemini moons have a lot of friends because it's like they're gonna take one aspect of themselves, okay, that maybe it's not shown to another person, but you're gonna find the person that you're comfortable with showing it to. So it's like, it almost feels like with every single person, there's like a different version of you. And it's like, they are all versions of you, but it's almost like no one actually gets the full version of you is really what it is. So that could be another thing that, that you guys work on. I mean, it's up to you guys, whether you guys see that as a positive or negative thing. But that's really what happens with the Gemini energy as well. So important not to get caught up in gossip is a big one, okay? Because it's like that tra transferring energy, you know, uh, taking this message, saying it to this person, all these sorts of things is really what it is with the, with the Gemini moon as well, okay? 
So very important for you guys to understand these things, learn these things, because otherwise you guys are going to get caught up in drama, you guys are going to get caught up in situations, and it's kind of like, again, because you guys are speaking, sometimes you guys say things without even thinking about saying them. It's like there's no filter with a Gemini moon, it's sometimes when people might not even feel comfortable telling you their secrets, because it's like, without realizing, you guys are just going to overshare. It's really what that is, and sometimes it's other people's things. And sometimes, like I mentioned, if it's in a moment of conflict, you guys could end up being very much double-faced, in the situation and then those people are going to turn on you maybe and be like oh my gosh the gemini moon person was double faced so just some things to watch out for okay this is why astrology is great because we see the energies that we have and how to work with these energies i hope you guys enjoyed my gemini moon video if you did please do like share and subscribe let me know in the comments below as well and i hope you all have a beautiful rest of the day